Turkey's UNESCO World Heritage Sites are very popular with the millions of tourists who visit there every year. The landmarks, though, are threatened by modern development and poor planning, as Reza Saya reports now from Istanbul. Like many historic megacities, Istanbul has long seen a conflict between the old and the new. Growth versus limit, development versus protecting culture. Throughout the past three decades, UNESCO has had a voice in the conflict. But how effective has that voice been? For many, the answer is still up for debate. Conservation activists say UNESCO has been generally useful in getting the Turkish government to preserve Istanbul's most important monuments, like the 1,500-year-old Hagia Sophia or Soleimaniye Mosque, the nearly five-century-old mosque built during the Ottoman Empire. These monuments, designated by UNESCO as World Heritage Sites, are in good shape. But critics say that's because they attract tourists and generate lots of money. The complaint by activists is about some of the lesser-known heritage sites, like Istanbul's old wooden buildings from the Ottoman Empire. Today, many are rotting in ruins, covered in cobwebs. And look at this. Even UNESCO's own sign is falling apart or Istanbul's Theodosian walls, built to protect Constantinople from invaders, including Attila the Hun. Parts of these walls and ancient gardens that run along them have been damaged by construction and neglect. Activists say these sites are not as profitable as Istanbul's bigger money-making monuments, and that's why they're often ignored. Activists have also complained about how development, even if it's far away from monuments, can destroy Istanbul's historic skyline. Many groups were upset with the construction of this metro bridge crossing over the Golden Horn. Few developments sparked more of an outrage than when three high-rise apartment buildings shot up through the pristine silhouette of the Blue Mosque. Activists say even if UNESCO speaks out on these matters, they don't have the power to get government officials to change things. They also know this stark reality. In megacities like Istanbul, growth and development generate lots of money and profit. And as long as that's the case, at least some heritage sites will always be in danger. Reza Seya Al Jazeera, Istanbul.